33 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this counter by just using html css and javascript so now if i click on this increment button so it will allows us to increment our counter and now if you want to save our current number right here so you can just click on this save so it will now save it right here okay so we can just increment it one more time like you can just increment it how many you like and then click on the save so it will now save it okay and so on and so forth so this is what we are going to be building in this project by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code so in this video we are going to be creating a counter okay so inside this counter a folder we are going to be creating three files so i'll just write like index.html and the next one we would have is tile.css and then the final one we would have is a app dot js file for javascript now let me just zoom in a bit so that we can see everything a bit better all right so now let's start working on our html first of all so the first thing i would do is i'll just write a doc type html and here i'm going to change the title to like counter and just link that to our javascript file so now just link that to our javascript file and to our css file as well okay so now you are good to go then i'll just hide this meta tag and then right click on it and open it with live server all right so now we are good to go so for html we are going to be need a few things the first thing i would do is i'll just write a main with the class of content okay so this inside this content we are going to have a div with a class of counter inside this div we will have another div with the class of counter box and we will also give id of count okay and now we are going to be just placing a zero for now and then we will have two buttons underneath there so we'll just give them a button with the class of increment button and also the button id uh, i mean like another class of button and then i'll just create a new button with the class of save dash button and then just button okay so inside there i'm gonna write like save and this one this one will be save and this one will be just increment okay so that's that the next thing we would do is underneath this div we are going to be writing our entries container so I'll just write like n trees and inside these entries we are going to be writing like paragraph which will just say like save slash entries and then finally we will just write like our entries field so i'll just write like entries field and we will also give an id of cell so once we save our file so that's going to be the html for now so if you check it so here you can see we have this html right here so now let's jump right into the css and now let's just style it a bit all right, so the first thing I'll do is I'll just declare a variable and it will be like secondary color and it will be equals to totally white, okay? So that's that. The next thing I'll do is I'll select everything and I'll change the margin to zero. I'll also change the padding to zero. Box sizing will be border box, okay? Underneath that, we are going to be selecting all of our buttons and now we are going to be just pouring like border of none and outline will be also none okay so these are the resets so now let's just write our general styling like body will be just fonts family sans serif and you can choose whichever font you like and then the background color will be just black right here okay save it and this is going to be that and the next thing which we have to do is to now just select this content container so you're going to be just selecting this content and now let's just provide a max width of 1 14 40 14 and then 40 pixel and then we're going to be providing like margin zero auto to everything to be center padding will be zero and 10 rim like zero will be top and bottom 10 rim will be for left and right and this is how it looks like right now you know what i'm gonna just go side by side so that we can see everything so i guess that will be fine so that's that the next thing which you have to do is to just select our counter right here which is this counter so let me just select that and then provide a display display come on of flex and then flex direction will be set to column um align items will be center and then we have a margin top of just one rim save it and now everything is center but we cannot see it right now all right so the next thing which i'm going to select is this box container or counter box to be precise which is this counter box right here so copy it and now let me just place it right here and now let's just style it a bit so i'll just provide a width of 100 percent and then the height will be 160 pixel you know what i'm gonna just comment this background color for now for this body so that we can see everything a bit clear and now let's just do a little bit of more um starting to it so display will be totally flex 
uh, justified content will be center align items will be also center color will be totally white and then we have a font size of like 100 pixel and then font weight will be just 600 okay and then we have a background color of rgba and it should be 43 42 42 one more time and then finally we are going to be importing like alpha transparency of like 0 0.9 959 all right so this is our container right here or i mean like counter box so now the final thing which you have to do is to just pour a little bit of border radius to it so that it can look a bit of smoother so just write like a border radius and will be now equals to add pixel save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so now the next thing that you have to do is to just select our buttons right here okay so increment button and the decrement button so now let me just select that so I'll just select like button this class which we provide right here like this class this button will have this class and also this button will also have this class right here okay so i want to give them a width of like 80 percent and then the max width will be just like 350 and then we have a height of like 3m display will be flex and justify corner will be center align items will also be center and then we have a color of totally white and then font size will be just 20 pixel font weight will be just 400 and then we have a border radius of like add pixel and then we have a cursor of pointer and then user select will be none save it all right so this is what button looks like right now so now let's just provide a little bit of color to it so that we can see our buttons okay so now we give them a class of like increment button and save button right here so now let's just select that so I'll just write like increment button first of all and I want to just give a margin of 2m and then 0 then 1m and then 0 as well and then the background color will be just like RGB and then we have 26 26 6 and then we have 1 add 4 okay so that's that and now let's just change the font weight to like bold let me just write a bold save it and this is our first button right here and now let's just uh duplicate this or you know we are going to be just selected manually so now let's just select this save button copy this name and now let's just place it right here and now here we just have to write like a background color of this um hexadecimal color like zero zero d a seven f seven 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 f there we go and then we have to change the font where to like just bold save it and this is how this button will look like okay so that's that so now let's just select this paragraph right here inside this entries class so let me just show you that really quickly so we have this entries container inside this entries container now we want to select this paragraph so for that we are going to be just writing like entries first of all and then you have to just select this paragraph so now let's just provide a little bit of margin to it like um 2.5 rem then zero then one rem and then zero and it should be m not rem okay and then font uh size will be just 20 pixel then font weight will be just 600 600 pix not pixel but just 600 it will be also just totally wide and then i guess that that's going to be there so once we save our file and this is how it looks like right now because we haven't provided our background color right here so you just provide our background color save it and this is how it looks like right now and you know what we are going to be just deleting this root uh, variable I, I don't know why you write right there <laughs> all right so save it and this is how it looks like okay so the final thing i would just select is this entry fuel right here okay so now let me just select that so i'll just write entries then fuel okay and then just change the font size to it like 20 pixel and color will be totally white save it and we can all see it right now so if we just pour a bit of entries like one two three or whatnot one two would be fine so here you can see this is how it looks like all right so now i'll just remove these entries from here now we are done with our css so now let me just make it a bit bigger so this is how it looks like on a bigger screen okay so now we are good to go to write our javascript so now let, let me just write a javascript really quickly so for this project we would need a few things for our javascript okay so now let me just zoom out of it so that we can see everything a bit clear all right so the first thing we would need is our count element then we would need is our save element third one we would need is our increment button and the fourth one we would need is our save button all right so now let's just grab that really quickly so the first thing we would do is we would just write like let count element it will be now equals to document dot get element by id 
get element by id and now we have to just provide a counter okay and now we provide this id inside this html inside this html which is right here this count right here okay so now we successfully select that the next thing which you have to select is to just write let save element and it will be now equals to document that get element by id as well and we provide id of save to it so now let me show you that where is the save id let me just show you all right so here you can see we have the save id right here and now the third thing which you have to do is to just select our increment button so I'll just write like increment button increment button and now it will be equals to document dot query selector and then just write like increment button right here so increment button okay and we did provide our dot right here so now we are good to go and the final thing which you have to do is to just get our save button so let me just write that like let save button and it will be now equals to document dot query selector and here we're going to be just writing our save button so now let me just show you this increment button and save button so here you can see we have this increment button right here and we have this save button right here so now let's just log everything to the console so like we're making sure that we select everything so the first thing you would just provide is like counter element or count element and now let's just change this to like save element and then let's just change this one to increment button and then save button all right so that's that save it and now let me just show you that open my developer tools and just make it to the bottom okay so this is our counter box then we have an entries field week which you cannot see right now because we don't have any entries right now so then we have an increment button and the save button right here so now we are totally sure that we select our buttons and everything all right so now let's just remove these and also these buttons i mean like these uh comments as well so now we are good to go the first thing i would do is i'll just create a counter variable so i'll just write like let count it will be now equals to zero for now so whenever we click on this increment button so you just increment our counter all right so now let's just attach our add event listener for this increment button so i'll just write like increment button dot add event listener to it and now we are going to be attaching the click event all right so now let me just show you everything and then here we are going to be finding this function right here okay so we are going to be just setting this count variable to plus equal to one so whenever we click on this button like this increment button so you want to just change the counter i mean like this count variable and you want to add just one to it okay so this is going to be there and now the next thing which you have to do is to just change our ui right here like this uh, box right here so we have this count element right here so, so now let's just select that count element just change the text content to be just this count right here like this count so once we save it and now if you click on this count so here you can see every time you click on this increment button so it will now just increase it right here okay so here you can see that and you can just go infinitely so now let me just refresh that really quickly and the next thing which you have to do and the next thing which you have to do is to attach event listener on this save button so whenever we click on this save button and it will just add our entries to this entries container which you have right here like save elements right here okay so this quite simple and easy so that's so the next thing which you have to do is to just write a save button and then add event listener to it so whenever we click on this event so we want to fire this function okay so now we just want to call this function so the first thing i would do is i'll just write like a let count stir like for string and now we are going to be just writing count plus and then just space comma space right here okay because we want to just provide this comma so whenever we add entries so we have to add this comma right there all right so that's that the next thing which you have to do is to just write save element and text content now let's just change the text content to be plus equal to counter stir for string okay or counter comma would be fine but you know what that's going to be there and then finally which you have to do is to just write a counter or count element and it will be now equals to text content of zero okay and now let's just write like count it will be now equals to zero as well so once we save our file and now let me just show you everything in a bigger screen so now if you click on the increment like let's suppose if you hit five and now if you want to save that into our entry so if you click on this save button so here you can see it will now save this five right here to an entries and it will also give us this comma right here it will just make our count to be zero right here so whenever we add a little bit of more numbers to it so then once we save it so it will now add then and also this comma right there so whenever we add more save it so it will now just start adding it okay and now let me just remove this space from there save it and now let's just check it so let's suppose we have a five save it and that's that and now let's just add a little bit of more like six and that's going to be there 
All right, so I think everything is working and I guess that's it about this project. So now if you guys don't know about Git and GitHub, so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one. And if you guys don't know about Git and GitHub and want to push your code into your GitHub repository, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So I've already selected everything and now let's just write like clear first of all and then get status and now we have this like 033 project right here so now let's just add that like get add everything and it will now add it zoom out a bit so that we can see everything and the next thing which you have to do is to just write like get uh, write a commit for that and we will just write like counter and now let's just head in there so it will now just add this counter uh comment for us and then just write like a get push command and origin main and if we had any right here so it will now just add our counter to our github repository so if you just refresh that and now if you just search for this 033 where are you 033 r so here you can see we have this counter right here so if you click on that so we have this index.html file and we have all of this code we have this uh, app.js file we have all of this its code and then finally we have this uh, style.css file and we have all of this code right here all right so that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye